Hi guys, this is Nana. Welcome to my channel. I make videos on fashion, lifestyle, basically everything that goes through the mind of a 20-something girl. So, about everything. As you must have already guessed from the title today, we are going to the Sarojini Nagar. Well, how? You must be asking how, Nana, because we are in the middle of the lockdown. And the even bigger question is, you are not in Delhi. So, how are you going to make this happen? Well, just because we cannot go to Sarojini Nagar right now does not mean Sarojini Nagar cannot come to us. Wait, let me do it in my voice. Just because Sarojini Nagar is not open right now does not mean Sarojini Nagar cannot come to us. You know what I mean? So, we are gonna make Sarojini Nagar come to us. Stick with me, I think this video is going to be a lot of fun. Yay! So before it starts raining, here's my bag and let's get going. Let's go to Saro. Oops. Sorry, still new on this. Let's go to Sarojini Nagar. <sighs> oh, this looks pretty good. Condition of my bag is pretty rotten, but whatever. Let's see if I have everything that I need in here. Do I have my metro card oops yep i have my metro card oh i haven't used it in such a long time so we are gonna go take the metro here's my card whoa now i'm gonna take the metro So, as you might have understood, hypothetical situation we are going to create in our mind. So, bear with me. What is this? Guys, look, I told you. I told you. That I'm going to find a way to magically transport to the land of Sarojini Nagar. And I did. Here we are. Look at this. Look at all these clothes and even some shit on the ground for 25 bucks. Oh my god, and how much are these clothes for? 50 bucks. All these clothes and accessories. We got accessories for 20 bucks. All of this. Oh my god. We have come, we have reached, we have reached Sarojini Nagar. So as you can see, I have very realistically recreated Sarojini Nagar in my own home. And the best part about it is I don't even have to pay for any of these things. Alright, alright, so we are in a fake Sarojini Nagar, so what? All the things that you're going to see in this video is actually from Sarojini Nagar and I have somewhat like put the price I don't remember exactly how much I do I have a rough estimate so that's what I have put and I'm going to show you all the pieces that I have that I possess and I'm very proud of so that's how we bring Sarojini Nagar to us when we cannot go to because I miss that place okay I miss that place so much and lately not lately ever since i moved away from delhi i've been missing that place a lot and then the lockdowns after lockdowns i know a lot of people who frequent that place are probably missing it so i decided why not showcase all the stuff that i possess from that place now, if for some reason you have never heard of uh, Sarojini Nagar, then let me give you a very quick, short introduction. Sarojini Nagar is a flea market for clothes in Delhi, 
where you basically get all these uh, factory surplus products and also some of the products that are imported uh, from from other countries especially western countries america from the thrift shops over there it's a great bargain and great way to get some amazing pieces at a very very reasonable cost in fact cheapest if i can say that it's the cheapest place to buy clothes on earth okay maybe that's a little bit of a stretch or maybe not i have literally bought clothes in dirt cheap over there i know there are some people who are nauseated at the thought of sarojini nagar market you know they'll be like how can you how can you shop how can you shop from that place Ugh. i don't feel bad i feel nothing and i don't usually comment because they are the same people who have no fashion sense and their wardrobe is literally the most boring thing in the whole world so jewelry pieces as you can see right here that i got for that's right just for 20 bucks these are hair bands that i have got from there how amazing are they like for real how amazing are they there are some rajasthani women who sell these jewelry for as low as 20 bucks during the monday market look at this can you imagine and since i wear neck pieces a lot i also had a lot of earrings these are bracelets i also had a lot of earrings but i don't know where i kept them this is my favorite i wear this butterfly necklace all the time and these are some long chains so yeah now my favorite part dresses voila so i'm gonna show you some of my dresses that i got from there which are amazing also uh, as i'm showing you my stuff i'm also gonna give you some pointers to guide you like when you go to sarojini nagar look out for these kind of stuff okay because the stuff that i get from there does not look like i got it from sarojini nagar so i'm gonna teach you i'm gonna teach you how to pick stuff from there that doesn't look like it's from a flea market like nobody has to know it's from sarojini nagar nobody has to know i got these dresses for 50 bucks yes white plain dress material the quality amazing and very simple white dress you can dress it up you can dress it down you can wear it however you want white and gray lots of white dresses yeah i usually pick colors like that so that can be one of your pointers look at the material very closely check through and through when you buy anything from there from sarojini nagar especially from the monday market where things are extra cheap gorgeous i mean look at the construction of the dress and it's a very thick knitted material it's actually very thick you cannot wear this during summer traffic pu pu people traffic people oh god i love this midriff situation and then the dress flaring up like this. A little bit of silver and golden peeking through the white. Love these flared kind of sleeves. And the material is amazing. Perfect to wear during the summers. I really like this dress right here. I, I totally forgot what it's called. Look at this pattern, so beautiful. And these are usually very expensive. So yeah, another thing when in Sarojini Nagar, look out for stuff like this, the chiffon kind of stuff, because this shit never looks cheap. okay so those were all the dresses and now comes the fun part the stuff that is usually 
lying around on the ground and all the women are fighting for it to get the best shit you need to get inside that you need to get in that bull fight and get your shit from there because sometimes you will find amazing things for dirt cheap as low as 25 bucks sometimes things you get for 10 bucks and all in monday markets i personally have i think never found anything for 10 bucks but i have found a lot of good shit for 25 bucks or 20 bucks and those are amazing and i'll show you stuff for 25 bucks and like trousers for 50 bucks first let's look at these cheap stuff right here so again when you will be buying stuff especially from the ground literally scavenging for it you need to be careful to really check the stuff and discard the damaged stuff okay i'm gonna show you some of the pieces that i've got and I'm gonna tell you why it's worth it. I found this amazing top for I think 20 25 bucks. I think I've worn this top previously, so I'm, I'll check out my other videos. I have worn some of this stuff already, that's why I'm not wearing it again. And also because I'm feeling lazy, this is like an off shoulder kind of thing. This shirt is so freaking Christmassy. Look at it. Look at the print. See? Ah, little snowman. I will probably crop this shirt. Now, this top has to be my favorite. And it's written, it's from Zara. I mean, I don't know. Looks and feels like it. Look at this. Beautiful little crop top. Yay! I'm looking like that shopkeeper right now who, you know, shows off stuff from his shop. Another cropped shirt, beautiful, that you can tie up in the front. The place is amazing. So the next tip will be look for things that is not necessarily trending right now. Look for stuff that is not trending, like a basic white shirt beautiful black top that i've got this looks amazing when i wear because it's a net kind of material so it looks like this around the neck around here like that these nautical stripes amazing just look now the next category is shrugs Shrugs and jackets. Whenever you are in Sarojini Nagar, in winters you'll get amazing wintery stuff. But even during like summers and other times, when you go there, look for shrugs and jackets that you can layer. And layering always looks amazing. It looks very edgy, very fashionable. And yeah, so look for stuff that you can layer on top of other stuff and you'll be good to go nobody will even question where it's from and shrugs and jackets are usually very expensive even if you want to buy it online it's very expensive so look for those stuff if you get a good deal nothing like it like i have gotten see it doesn't look that good with this shirt maybe or maybe it does i think it's a look wow her favorite shrug that I found there is this little thing. This is like one of those shrugs that is like barely there on your body, like barely sticking on your body. It's just, it's just there. It's not serving any purpose. It's keeping your arms like warm. But other than that, it's just there like this. Just a little denim shirt on shirt situation. wear it on top of any other clothing item that you have and nobody will question where it's from now i also love the i miss actually the randomness of sarojini nagar you will find such random stuff over there like half of the time i don't even 
understand what it is and i asked the as the man selling it like what is this and sometimes even he cannot answer it one of those stuff is this now it might look like a shawl but it has these belt thingies right here if anybody know what this is supposed to be please let me know because i have no idea and you're supposed to just i don't know are you supposed to put it around your neck or something because if you do then you'll feel like a superman is this a look somewhere like this like is this how it's supposed to be i don't know i don't know comment down below if you if you know what this is i i still haven't feel, i'll show you how it looks when i stand up what is this now i was so intrigued with the white thing that i bought a similar looking thing in black but it it at least have sleeves i couldn't possibly have thought of buying from anywhere else look this looks so fucking cool right here isn't it i'm a professor for english these translucent looking stuff it's another jacket a top actually a button down shirt black and nice i don't know what material this is but it's super light super thin and super shiny i love this now i didn't expect to find good trousers from that place from saru from a flea market you know because trousers are more about the fitting and the material has to be really good because what if there's a tear you cannot do anything about it so i i like buying trousers from a very reliable kind of online basically but i did find some amazing trousers in sarojini nagar for like as low as 50 bucks sometimes first off we have this patiala that my mother tried to steal from me but i got it back cotton lightweight bright red with like a uh, elastic yep for 50 bucks this amazing piece we have a pair of formal pants from sarojini nagar can you imagine this is a formal pant that i got for 50 bucks i was like are you kidding me this is like it's like that suit material you know this is the back look it's so beautiful this is the front and yeah for 50 bucks like wow i have the last item for you another steal at 50 bucks is the skirt for a very long time i was thinking of turning it into a palazzo because i don't really wear that much skirt so i don't know i'm still thinking but yeah i remember this kind of skirt like this pleating situation over here this was quite in for quite some time and i think it's it's very it's a very classic kind of look so yeah another steal for 50 bucks that's all we have for today's video I hope you guys had fun and yeah check out my other videos and my YouTube channel and if you like what you see please subscribe I plan to make more videos I know I haven't uh, uploaded very consistently because I was not well for some time but now I'm back with full vigor and energy and yeah you're going to see a lot more content on lifestyle and fashion and vlogs maybe and what not So please subscribe. That will mean a lot and like if you liked it that is. And yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think. 
and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.